What's going on everybody? Afflicted Gamer here. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. So it looks like with the release date of TU6 and Episode 2, the vendors actually changed. So for the next 6 days and 14 hours, we actually do have new items here at all of the vendors. So I will show you everything that is for sale in World Tier 5. If you guys enjoy the video or find it helpful, do drop a like on it. It's much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for much more Division 2 content. First up at the White House, we've got an Enhanced AUG A3P with Sadist, Optimized, and Waskily. Black Market AKM with Killer, Optimized, and Zen. P4 Storm with Preservation, Extra, and Zen. We've got the new Scapula Bug Out Bag for the Wyvernwear Backpack here. 3% Weapon Damage, 4% Crit Damage, over 13,000 Armor on the Ropes, and Capacitive. Douglas and Harding Vest with 533 skill power, 6.5% headshot damage, over 23,000 health, along with Mad Bomber. An offensive systems firearms mod with 1.5% weapon damage, 3% shotgun damage, 3% assault rifle damage, not too bad. We've got a electric soldering tool for your hive, which gives you 60% skill haste, and an ammo box for your turret giving you plus six sniper rifle ammo all right blueprints vendor i'm pretty sure that i do own everything good to see you i can help you craft but i'm out of supplies. yep i do all right Later. moving on down to the clan vendor now oh, hopefully they made a change to the clans all of the lower level clans seem to be getting the best items so fingers crossed that this changes with u6 and everybody gets the same stuff Alright, we've got a Commando SVD with Perfectly Naked. We actually have a perfect talent on one of our first we weapons here with Extra and Protected Reload. I think I'll buy a couple. True Patriot Gloves with 5% Pistol Damage and over 10,000 Health. True Patriot Knee Pads with 7% Critted Chance. Negotiator's Dilemma Knee Pads with over 4,000 Armor Regen. Custom L86 with Optimist, Jazz Hands, and Recharged. M870 Express with Perpetuation, Optimized, and Cannon. Surplus SVD with Eyeless, Allegro, Stop, Drop, and Roll. G36C with Steady Handed, Optimized, and Everlasting. Model 700 Carbon with Bread Basket, Extra, and in Rhythm. Not a bad Model 700. Badger Tough Backpack with over 6,000 health, 7.5% total armor, 5.5% critted chance, and over 10,000 armor. Elp Summit Vest with 15% critted chance, over 12,000 armor, and Mad Bomber. Nothing too special there. Offensive System Dexterity Mod with 2% weapon damage, 1% damage to health, 3% optimal range. An Offensive Systems Firearms mod with 1% weapon damage, 3% shotgun damage, 4% marksman rifle damage though. That might be worth picking up. We have a PVA Polymer Coating mod with 43% duration. And an Auxiliary Battery, battery, battery <laughs> with 258 drone skill power. Alright, cool. Well, at least the commando is there. Next up will be over at the theater. We have shotgun with benzene with ignited jazz hands and overlap. Elp summit gloves with 10% and to order. To order got a bit plus armor while aiming grenade 10% G damage. Badger tough knee pads with 1200 armor regen and over 11,000 armor. Defensive protocol stamina mod with 3600 health, 3400 armor on kill, 7% skill haste. Mini electric motor with 149.5% skill haste. Not bad if you are running a skill build and like to use seeker mines. Weaved armored fiber mod. Okay. For your ballistic shield, 69.3% health. And then we have one for the hive here with 83% damage. All right. Nothing too special over here at the theater. Next stop will be over at the campus. Here at the campus, we have a hunting M44 with eyelid and greased, 
Black Market RPK with Spike, Stable, and Everlasting. China Light Industries Mask with 22% skill haste, 111 skill power, along with Destructive. Not bad for a skill build. Murakami Industries Holster with 12% health, 329 skill power. Utility System Assist Mod with 90 skill power, 2% grenade damage, 3.5% bleed damage. If you want to wear the new ongoing directive stuff, the bleed damage might come in useful. Ultra Thin Cartridges with 28.7% radius. Swarm Control for your Hive, 66.1% charges. And then Nickel Chromium Wire with 182%, or sorry, 83% skill haste. I think I'm actually going to pick that up. Alright, next up, the Dark Zones. DZ West's main entrance, we've got a Spaz-12 with Steady Handed, Allegro and Cannon, Sig-716 with Reformation, Distance and Rooted, Badger Tough Gloves with 1% Health, 12% Hazard Protection, 5% LMG Damage, Wyvern Wear Knee Pads with 188 Skill Power along with Insulated, Defensive System Mending, Mod Slot with 5500 Armor, 3% Protection from Elites and 1% Health, it's actually not too bad. Brushless DC motor with 32% health, auxiliary battery with 263 shield skill power, and a backpack with plus 4 max targets. Oh, that will be DZ South. Alright, down here at DZ South main entrance, we have an Enhanced Aug A3P with Reformation, Allegro, and Grease. Citar 21 with Ranger, Optimized, and Stop, Drop, and Roll. Diceros with Vindictive, Distance, and Transmission. China Light Industries Backpack with 11% Skill Haste, 415 Skill Power, and 4200 Armor, along with On the Ropes and Restorative. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have a Wyvern Wear Vest with 10% crit chance, 8.5% crit damage, 4% weapon damage, along with Vigilance. Vigilance is one of the new talents, so gain plus 25% weapon damage. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. I'm actually going to buy one of these. And we have a Offensive Systems Firearms mod with 2.5% weapon damage, 3% SMG damage, 2% Assault Rifle damage. We got a drone mod with 26.5% armor repair and lubrication gel with 47.6% duration. I appreciate the business. All right, and the final stuff of the week is DC East main entrance. We have a paratrooper SVD with eyeless, optimized, and double duty. Military RPK 74 with killer, accurate, and rooted. Gila Guard Mask with 6.5% health, 19% hazard protection, and empowered. We have a Yal Gear Holster. That's actually a first. 13,000 health, 23% skill power. We've got a Utility Protocol Intensity Mod with 88 skill power, 2% burn duration, 2% in increase in snare duration. Ultra Thrin Cartridges, again, with 21.6% radius. Experimental Blend with 22.3% buff duration. And a Heating Mantle, 49% charge speed. Alright, a little bit better of a vendor reset for the Division 2. I don't know if Cassie Mendoza will be here tomorrow, or if this is now the new schedule for good on a Tuesday. <clears throat> excuse me versus a Friday so we shall see because it does say for the next six days when you come over to the vendor six days 13 hours from the moment of making this video so we will find out but anyways guys there you have it there is everything new for sale I would definitely grab that uh, sniper with perfectly naked on it if you are a fan of using the SVD especially for aces and eights if you've never done the raid and you want any piece of the raid gear from the clan vendor, if assuming that your clan vendor does have them, and that is it. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys very soon in the next video with plenty more Division 2 content here with the release of TU6 and Episode 2. So don't forget to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. You can follow me over on Twitter at AfflictedGamer. 
please do leave your thoughts and comments down below about the vendor and the new talents and quite frankly anything that you have experienced here today with the release of TU6 in episode 2 if you're enjoying it not enjoying it all that good stuff all right guys i'll see you soon in the next one